Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Thou shall not worship false idols. You've heard of that saying before. That saying, it originates uh, from the Bible. It's mentioned a few times in there. And what we are seeing now, over the last couple of days, with the Queen and her recent death and these cues of people, and this bowing and people getting down on their knees, is very much looking like that. I mean, since the Queen has been lying in the coffin, lying in state, where the public can come and walk past her. I mean, if you watch it on the live stream, watching it for a while last night, it's a, it's a curious thing to behold, seeing these people getting upset, crying, and nearly everyone bowing their head and getting down to their knees, some of them. I mean, bowing of the bowing of the head is very much a sign of worship, as well as respect. It states here that people can visit day and night, and it says here that the queue is nearly now five miles long with an estimated waiting time of eight hours is this for real are you f come on here's a clip of the queue okay it says here that officials expect there to be possibly 750,000 people to view the coffin now if that is true and we have to bear in mind whatever these people say you shouldn't trust it as they love to exaggerate things uh, what was it in Scotland they reckon there was 33,000 people who viewed the coffin. Of course it would be 33,000. Always got to be 33. And even if we were to believe those numbers, it's still the minority in a country of 67 million population. I mean, what's the percentage? What's that, 2% of the population? I mean, what we are seeing are the monarchists, the people who watch too much television, those easily influenced and manipulated by emotional propaganda, those who follow the crowd. It is quite the sight though to see so many people crying, upset, bow bowing their heads to someone they never knew, probably never met. One of the biggest, one of the biggest landowners in the world, entire life surrounded by riches beyond belief, living in palaces and castles, waited on by servants 24-7 all the time continuously taking money from the poor from those 67 million people in the UK. As I said in the video, the mother of all psyops has begun. They have brainwashed these people into thinking they have given you some kind of service, but it's you who serves them. And this bowing, people putting their hands together as to pray and bow, people crossing themselves, is both fascinating to watch and also kind of depressing. It's not even like you can see anything. I mean, is there even a body in there? I mean, who knows? I would query that. But this bowing, crossing yourself, the queuing for hours, this is pretty much idolatry. Idolatry is the worship of a cult image or idol, as though it were God. The extreme admiration, love, or reverence for something or someone. And of course, the fake stream media are amplifying this as much as possible because they want you to worship their false idol. With their water wall coverage, the images of the queen everywhere, in towns, on billboards. Now, the reality is, everything the queen and the establishment stand for is the exact opposite of what Jesus stood for, okay? One simple example would be this. In the Gospels, Jesus would spend a considerable amount of time among the poor, serving them, encouraging them, and even standing up for them. The royal family don't do this. They are the opposite. They take from the poor and live in palaces surrounded by infinite riches, never giving any assistance to the poor, instead taking taxes from everyone, money they don't need, money that the poor actually need. Jesus said, there will always be poor people in the land. Therefore, I command you to be open-handed toward your brothers and toward the poor and needy in your land. And yet, like I said, the royal family don't give to the poor. They are hoarders, hoarders of money and land and objects. Much of the royal family's riches stem from their colonial past, stealing and looting taking what was not theirs by extreme force, a history of violent atrocities. It's the opposite of what you should be bowing your head to worship. How much is the Queen's funeral going to cost? Well, it says here they don't know yet. 
Estimates are at around 9 million. I would say it's going to be far more. But guess, guess who is paying for it? Yes, the public. You're paying for it. The royal family won't be paying for it. Although they could easily afford to pay for it, but they won't. No, they want you to pay for it. Who's going to pay for your mum's funeral or your granddad's funeral? Ah, that's going to be you, isn't it? Do you think the royal family will help you out with your funeral expenses? No, no, they're not. But carry on believing and thanking them for their service to you. And all of these people are bowing down and worshipping this person. It's in the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. Well, you're bowing down and serving them. Man commits idolatry whenever he honours and reveres a creature in place of God, whether this be gods or demons, power, pleasure, race, ancestors, the state, money. That's what it says here. So look, the world, right, at this time is mostly secular, right? Yet people, I feel, whether they like it or not, people are intuitively searching for something, intuitively spiritual. I think it's innate in everyone. One of the reasons paranormal shows, for instance, are so popular is because people, you know, they gravitate towards the mysteries of the unseen because people want to believe in something else out there. They're always looking for something, yet the environment we live in is always pushing you away from the spiritual and getting you to focus on the science, yeah? It's all trust the science, trust in technology. And then because of this, people have a spiritual hole in them that leaves them feeling empty, yeah? And in situations such as this, where the media can manipulate the public emotionally, they then want to try and fill that spiritual hole, but they send you, they send you the wrong way and get you to worship a false idol, worshipping the exact opposite of what you should be looking up to. I mean, for example, worshipping a false idol, why is it wrong? Well, like I said, people are intuitively looking for something to give them meaning, to give them hope, happiness. But instead of looking for that from the Creator, from God, they are looking to get it from someone. And in this case, the Queen, the Head of State, the Royal Family, they are looking to get it from some, someone, something that stands for greed, power, hoarding riches, stealing, selfishness and worse. They are coercing people to put their energy into that. People are idolizing that and expecting to get something in return. You won't like what you get in return. You're going to end up reaping what you sow. Another thing people look from idols is control and security, especially in times that are chaotic and unpredictable. But there is no security coming back from the establishment. The royal family give you nothing. All they do is take. So again, it's a one-way exchange. They take not only your money, but also are vampirically sapping your energy, your spiritual energy, especially if you're worshipping this false idol. And that, of course, then leaves you empty and leaves you insecure as opposed to secure. You get the opposite of what you were looking for because you're looking for it in the complete wrong place. In the last couple of years, these people, yeah, the government, the establishment, the royal family have told you to trust the science. They may as well just say, worship the science. This has been their mantra. As I said, people are always going to worship. It's innate within us. But there are those that will attempt to drive those intrinsic emotions that we all have. They will attempt to drive you towards false channels. Over the last two years, the media establishment have got people queuing up on many occasions over the last two years and got people worshipping the God of science. And how's that working out for you? Did that result in people feeling more secure and having more control? I think not. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there that don't believe in this, but let's just say God created you. You are a creation of God. 
and the Ten Commandments are real. And one of them, Ten Commandments, is to not worship false idols and that you're supposed to worship your creator, God. Okay, and that commandment is effectively, it's a guideline. It's advice for you to follow. You don't have to. It's a guideline. And if you follow it, it should stop you from ending up falling into a trap and feeling miserable and hopeless. And if things are created for a purpose, if you're created for a purpose, then you don't, and you don't follow these guidelines and you end up using what you have for the wrong purpose, yeah? I mean, it's a bit like if you use a hammer to play the violin, you're using the wrong thing for the wrong purpose and you end up, what are you gonna do? You're gonna break it. The hammer is for hitting nails and you're supposed to use a bow for the violin. Everything has its purpose and if you use the wrong thing for the wrong purpose, it will end up not working or broken. So could that be the same here in regards to worshiping false idols? So when I look at these people queuing up and bowing their heads, it seems to me they are looking for something but don't quite know what it is. They are being influenced and directed to channeling their spiritual energy into the very opposite of where it's supposed to go. Okay? Let us know what you think in the comments. As always, thanks for listening. Comment and subscribe to HugoTalks.com website so I can notify you of all the video uploads and not have to rely on these third-party platforms for getting the word out. Okay? See you later.